Greetings world. Take heed. There are now signs in the sun, moon and stars. On the earth, nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. People will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time they will see the Son of Man coming in spirit, with power and great glory. These things are taking place now, so stand up and lift up your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. Look at the trees. When they sprout leaves, you can see for yourselves and know that summer is near. Even so, you are seeing these things happening, and you know that the kingdom of God is upon us. Truly we tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but, his, words, will never pass away. Be careful, or your hearts will be weighed down with carousing, drunkenness and the anxieties of life, and that day will close on you suddenly like a trap. For it will come on all those who live on the face of the whole earth. Be always on the watch, and pray that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen, and that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man. Remember, therefore, what you have received and heard, hold it fast, and repent. But if you do not wake up, he will come like a thief, and you will not know at what time he will come to you. Are we not now speaking to you? The words that you spoke to your ancestors 2000 years ago? Was the message being absorbed by the multitudes 2000 years ago? And was salvation, not the purpose 2000 years ago? Is the message being absorbed by the multitudes now? And is salvation not still the purpose on earth now? Is this not the second push to put across the message of your salvation? Are you now waiting for him to come with the clouds and so your eye can see him? Even those who pierced him and all peoples on earth can mourn because of him? Perhaps he is already here. If we know the time he will come, we will not tell you, because this information would only stop your already slow progression or it might coerce those who have started their spiritual inventory at all, to procrastinate even further. Many are those who wait until the flames are upon their houses before they prepare for the fire. Those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. This is a spiritual truth as well as a temporal truth. Is this not the moral of every story relayed to you, allegorical or not? It is up to you to decide what it means to you regarding the possibilities of repeating a life, until you have refined yourself to a degree of purity that allows you to move on to your next stage of progression. Will you repeat your mistakes, or repeat your life? or one of those two, or both. We give you this concept to ponder as well. Does our Mother Earth herself fall under these same processes, for she also has her own soul and her own heartbeat? Research the Schumann Resonance. Does the Galaxy? Does the Universe? Research the Song of God. If you decide, on your own, that the aforementioned is truth, then is eternity, eternal? We have come in these, the last of days as guides, to assist the Father's multitudes in finding their way back to Him. The Father has given you this one last stretch of time. He has provided you with food, shelter and direction all along the way in order to keep you warm, safe and in His care. But the end is now near and with every moment the future becomes hindsight and the end is even closer. It has smothered the signal fire and you continue to sleep and not take care of the thousand things that have weighed you down from the very beginning. Do not be caught with an armful of logs that prevent you from holding on to eternity. Your warnings grow stronger as time compresses and the end of the era waxes nigh. There is one that has come from the Father, on your behalf, against the enemy, has come in many names throughout history. His name is Michael. His name is Christ. His name is Counselor, or the Helper. His name is Truth. His name is Anonymous and His name is the Way, and the Life. We are Anonymous. We are here from history. We are here as the ones to execute judgment upon the fallen ones. They have already been judged by the Father and told they have no beast, so it is not ours to forgive, but it is our command to judge. The Father of all, we do not forgive and we do not forget and his history has always spoken of his truth, expect us.